in San Antonio won't get an early start on summer vacation after all. For a time, it looked like a budget dispute between the school board and City Hall might force the schools to close early. News 8's Stephanie Simone talked to students this morning about the developments. Students will finish the school year in and Sonia, but the school leaders and city leaders, they still need to come here in Derby to finish out their court matter. If you talk to an Ansonia middle schooler, they might sound like this today. School was already extended, like because of the snow day, that it'd be better if it ended early. Sorry to break the news, Raina, but you will have to finish out the school year. Her dad is relieved. I'm happy about that. I mean, it's a good thing, but it should have never come to this. It should have been done in January when, when this all came about. At one point, it was unclear kids were going to make that required 180 days. A financial fight between the city and school district prompted the superintendent to threaten to stop school this week. You see, the city refused to release $600,000 to the school board because the district received over $1 million in grant money from the state. In reaction, the school board sued the city. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was really unfair to the students. Finally, last night, after a very long and heated meeting, the two sides went behind closed doors and hammered out a deal. The city agreed to pay the schools $500,000 to keep classrooms open and, in the end, gave kids and parents a lesson in local politics. All of this is like annoying and that it's too much money and politics. I just think it's ridiculous. I think this is uh, kids need their education. So the two sides agreed on that $500,000 payment, but that lawsuit is still ongoing. In Derby, Stephanie Simone, News 8.